Hello Air Signs, welcome back to my channel everyone. Thank you so, so much for being here, Gem, Libra and Aquarius. We're gonna be looking into your weekly messages um, and see what is coming up for you, okay? So um, we'll look at you and your person here as well and we'll see what cards feel like popping out for you here. So let's have a look. Um, first of all, your energy, and then we'll look at your person's energy, so. What are you coming up with air signs? Okay, bottom of the deck, we've got the page of swords. So definitely you coming up unsure about a certain situation here, air signs. So what we've got going on is the page of swords is you are in a kind of energy where you're hesitating. Okay, you're kind of in a limbo. You don't know whether you want to move forward in a connection, in a situation, or you don't know whether you should be giving up entirely. I get regrets, okay, remorse or regrets. This is what your subconscious is trying to tell you, okay? There's a certain situation where I feel you have come to regret um, in your love connection. Okay, so only you know what this is, but let's look at your person. So, Page of Swords, I feel like you've done something here that you're not proud about. Air signs, you've done something that was maybe impulsive, okay? You said or you did something and you're probably not too happy with yourself. I feel like there's a lot of self-blame, like, why did I do that? Why did I do it to this person? You know, did they, were they deserving of it? Um, they've got the Queen of Swords. Okay, so they are thinking about you a lot and they're trying to process the situation for what it is. Okay, so we've got these two piles. Um, they sort of face each other here. Okay, so they're, they're facing each other here, air signs. Um, Okay, I feel like this person wants to reach out, but they're holding back as well. So um, I feel like on some energetic level, they're picking up your vibe and they know why you've sort of distanced yourself, right? They're picking up your energy. I feel like there's communication that may be coming from them. And I feel it's that very communication that's not letting you move forward. Okay, I don't know who this person is, what sort of power they have over you, but I feel like for some of you air signs... Every time they reach out or they say something, you know, if they messed up and they say something, it's like you, 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 like your heart opens up a little bit more and you're like, okay, well, should I forgive this person? You know, should I continue to speak to them? There's strong air energy, um, but I feel like you are, you're going to voice your concerns. Okay, let's look underneath, right underneath the Page of Swords, you had the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, you also have the tower and the um, tower and the ten of swords. Okay, there's been a betrayal on your part. You feel betrayed or hurt. Um, you're in like, I don't know what this is here with that tower, the wheel of fortune. But seeing these cards together makes me feel like you are trying to get revenge on someone or revenge on a situation here. Okay, so someone's maybe done something here to hurt you, to upset you. And then here you are trying to seek out that revenge, right? Okay, you're not happy about a situation with the Tower card. You're not, you're not feeling happy. You're not feeling good about whatever this person has done. Ten of Cups, I think you wanted a happy ending with this person. Or you still, you still envision that. But I feel there's been too much hurt on your side. That would explain the regrets here. I don't think you caused the hurt. I think they did something to hurt you because, you know, those swords are in your back here. So I feel like this was caused on you. And it sort of, it made things crumble in your eyes. It's like you saw things for what they were and you're like, okay, wow, this is my new reality now. And you have to let it sink in. The Wheel of Fortune is here to tell you that this had to happen. There's something about divine timing. Every time I see this card of air signs, it's like things happen for a reason or things needed to happen in that moment. They were there to teach you about this person, about this lesson that I feel that I feel had to be learned. Um, underneath their Queen of Swords, they had the Hermit. They had the Two of Cups, okay? They still want a reunion. They love you. Um, they're still committed to you. They might tell you this. We've got Virgo energy, so they're like obsessing or overthinking a lot right now that's their energy they're obsessing about a future with you or if you're seeing anyone new if you're in a new connection they also keep getting these thoughts subconsciously cups are emotion right so emotionally this person feels like you are the person they want to be with 
they feel like they might not find someone else in the future that will make them feel as loved or um, they'll like it's about comfort right it's about being able to be yourself so I feel like they're maybe struggling to be themselves um, around these people okay they have the two of ones so ultimately in the end they're going to have options and I feel like there's a choice they're going to make either between you and a different person maybe that's why they choose you know that's what's going on here we've got the moon so it could be someone from their past so I'm getting this person is either like you're their ex or they're still connected to their ex maybe like a past attachment but the moon is telling me this person is still attached to you eight of pentacles like I feel like they're going to open up this is like this flourishing kind of energy right it's this opening up um i don't know i get a sense that they want to impress you about something here how they're doing at work the money that they're making it's a bid to impress you air signs especially if they've hurt you it's like they've hurt you and then they left you with the hermit they left you to deal with everything on your own maybe they haven't apologized maybe they don't even comprehend how much they've hurt you or what they've done um but it's that kind of energy where, okay, yeah, I, I did the wrong thing, but the hermit retreats. So like they did something pretty crappy and then they go and disappear and you're like, wait, what just happened? You're used to trying to process it all. Um, but I do feel like they're going to reach out eventually because eventually that anxiety is going to get to a point where it's too much for them to handle and it's going to come to a point where they'll have to communicate with you. They'll try to impress you or they'll tell you they'll, they'll miss you, okay? They'll tell you outright with that two of two of chalices you know seeing that two of ones at the top of the deck here i wonder if the two of ones and two of chalices um this is maybe someone coming forward with a second chance or someone that's going to give you options air signs uh almost as if they're going to be like how about we do this how about we plan this how about we go there or we do this like it's almost like they're going to give you options with the two of ones and they'll leave things to you. So ultimately, I feel like the decision is going to be yours. They'll have those options. They'll present them to you. But I feel like that Wheel of Fortune is telling me the decision of whether you want to continue this or not is going to be yours. Okay, um, because something's going to change with you, air signs. Your energy is going to change and fluctuate. And... That's going to be, that's what I feel is going to be the catalyst for this, whatever this is that's coming up here around you. So I hope this has been helpful, um, Air Signs. Thank you so, so much for tuning in, everyone. And um, I do hope we'll be in touch soon. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, uh, and also sign up to membership on the channel. Um, otherwise, I'm sure we'll be in touch again very soon. So thank you, everyone, and bye for now.